Hey Floss Tube, it's Jules. How you guys doing? Hope you're having a great week. It is uh, April 11th. It's Wednesday night and I'm um, filming the video. And uh, how did April 13th, Friday the 13th sneak up on us like this? Uh, you know, I don't think Friday the 13th is that big of a deal like it used to be. Like it seemed like when I was a kid or whatnot, but uh, you, know, you never, you know, it's never awesome to see one of those roll around, but that's uh, this coming Friday, oh boy. Um, but anyway, I'm hungry. I got home from work and I'm hungry, so I'm probably, I might rush through this video. I hope I don't, but uh, I do want to eat something and, uh, and or soon. And uh, hubby's not home yet, so let's get the video done. Uh, let's see, lots of stitching, lots of stitching got done this week. Um, I don't think I started anything new. I just kind of pulled some older things out. I'm getting a little lighting issue here. The lighting is weird in this room for some reason. Not sure why I'm getting less uh, seemingly light. It looks fine, but who knows? The guys are all showing up just fine here. Um, oh, I need to put this one up here too, since I still have it, but okay. So what's been gotten done? So let's show you, I'm gonna show you Rainy Waterloo Place because we worked on that, did we work on that together, Stitch With, the Stitch With Me? Or the, yeah, the Stitch With Me, we did that. I'm, I'm getting really close to finishing this page because I did, I think I stitched on it some more after we did the Stitch With Me, I just couldn't help myself. Um, so this is Rainy Waterloo Place. This is where we're at now with the hoop in it, hoop, hoop, but and someone mentioned, and I, I mentioned in the video, but somebody else picked it out before that video came out, that these guys are, these are definitely dudes right here. That's the side of somebody, and then that's the back of somebody right through here. So pretty cool to be able to start seeing uh, some other things popping up on this project that I love. So, I mean, the goal... Can I get this page done this week? I don't know. I'll be really close. I'm still on, on track for obviously getting it done this month, though. So that's good. That's good. Let's put this over here. Um, you know, I would have liked to have gotten some Reaper done this week, but I've I had actually like lost the project for about the last two weeks or so. I didn't mention it before because I kept thinking I was going to find it and get some progress done on it. And then when I was um, pulling everything together to do this, I actually found it. I... I could have sworn I'd look, but didn't find it. Anyway, I, I don't have anything else done for it, but I just wanted to show you my little project bag because it's such a small piece. I actually can fit the um, the hoop with the fabric and all the colors and stuff in there, and um, I just can't fit the pattern in there, but everything else is in there. So, But I want to get back to work on this because I've been meaning to make some progress. Uh, speaking of progress, I'll show you Boba Fett. So, got some more progress on Boba Fett. Still can't quite tell, but this is the top of his head, right through here, with his little antenna or whatever it is, but that's the top of his head. That's as far as I've gotten on this one. But making progress. Making progress. All right. And let's see, what else we got going on here? I got a lot of different things today, guys. I got Rain, oh, I already did that one. Uh, Ronnie Rowe. Let's look at the Ronnie Rowe. Um, more progress on Ronnie Rowe. Uh, wow, man, I think that house is, the far end of the house is pretty much done. Um, let's, let's zoom up here so we can see. Um, a lot of the detail work got done. That bush got filled in there. This is left open, so this is sort of like, I'm not sure if that's a walkway or what that is, but that's, that's deliberately left open. And then what's left to do down here. It's just not nearly as much. So they're gonna, I'm going to get a chunk of this done this week. That's going to be awesome. And we'll see, uh, we'll see how that looks on there. So that's going to be really cool. But uh, definitely getting there, guys. Definitely getting there. Uh, what is this? Stormtrooper. Got some more progress done on Stormtrooper. Still not maybe as much as I would want to, but this is a, a little bit of a tedious piece, and I don't think I did as much on this one as I wanted to this week. But you can see that pretty much got all the white down here. And I'm just filling in a little here and then just filling in up here. But I always show you it's, it's that part. So it's getting there. This first page when it gets done, I think it's really going to pop and you're going to be able to see what's going on there. But it's just been a little bit of slow going. But yeah, yeah, I definitely need to uh, make more progress on that. That's for sure. That's for sure. 
Guess what I worked on this week? I'm just going to show you, see if you know. Found it, decided to get some more work done on it. Boom! E pluribus unum! Woo! Um, I got the, it's like a chicken neck. That's the, that's the eagle. It's not a chicken neck or a dinosaur. Kind of looks like a dinosaur, doesn't it? Um, but uh, that's the top of this eagle that goes here. Um, so that's really all I did for this week. I just kind of started working on this part so because it just branches out from here. But that's what I'm going to be working on for the next week to get that done. See how I can make some progress. But, uh, man, I got a lot of different progress uh, pro uh, projects done this week. So um, let's show you apothecary shop apothecary shop um all right so this is as far as i've gotten done here so this is the bottom you can't quite see it but this is the bottom of the um the cab here and so this is coming in let me pull this up a little bit it's hard to see i think the hoop's kind of right in the way but man isn't that that color is just this is gonna be so ridiculously beautiful Yeah, I made some good progress on this one this week. There was a lot of a lot of stuff that I could work on through here, so um, got a lot done. I feel pretty good about that. That's page three. That's the beginning of page three, so. Oh, yeah. All right, go back in that bag, dude. Get back in there. Okay, and then I got some more progress done on baseball. Baseball. Baseball, Ray. Baseball. Baseball. All right, let me see if I can shine this towards the light so you can really see. So I got a lot done down here, filled in a little bit more over here. But mostly, this is the bottom of the page. So if you can see that, well, let's do it this way. Got that, and then that, and that's all I have to do. So that's pretty good, pretty good. And then we'll actually start seeing some true color on this. That would be awesome. So, yeah, it just it doesn't look like anything right now. I understand that, but trust me. When we get there, it's going to be like, amazing. Oh, amazing. All right. What else? What else? Oh, yeah. The piece that is these thorns. Oh, that's not it. I finally got back to work on Old World Map 2. I got working on some um, color organization, so I was able to get some things done, thankfully. So I made some good progress on it this week. Well, really just the last couple of nights. Um... So it's coming in nicely on this page. Uh, I honestly just filled in a ton more down here and just filled in more up here. Uh, I mean, just filling in a lot of the things that uh, that I left before. But there we go. It's coming together nicely. That's about roughly halfway. I mean, if you look at if you look at this map, it's like top row it's like right there so it's roughly like halfway I'm gonna take down the framing on the wall mm. all right so for those of you who haven't seen old world map 2 if you're new this is old world map 2 this is a ridiculous five feet by four feet roughly gigantic cross stitch um, so I'm on the top row all the way across and I'm roughly like right about here so I don't have a better picture of it because honestly, I think I would kill my printer uh, if I tried to print out the whole thing. But um, Integro Multi, so it's the very beginning of the. So it's just, it's just, it's right. It's hard for me to see this backwards. Let me try and focus this a little bit. So there's an M right there. So it's the first part of the M. So it's roughly about halfway. It's getting there. The next page definitely, when I finish it, will be over halfway. Whoa! Light exposure, hello. The light went away. All right, can I reframe it? Oh yeah, got it. So anyway, so old world map two. So um, pretty much uh, the goal is just to continue filling in the rest of you know this stuff here, and then just start working my way, you know, down through here. So it's going to be really pretty. A lot of lighter colors. Um, it's just a, a very yeah a light area. So. Yeah, it's all good. Yep, I'm just making progress, getting some stuff done. There's something else, though. Well, there's this, I don't know what this is, but there's, like, something that crosses that this white part. So there'll be, like, a flash of color that comes through here. Um, 
Not really sure why. I can't really tell what it is, but um, it'll get there. It will get there. So. Oh, t-shirt. I'm still wearing, I wear this shirt all the time because it's so soft. Warning my, me spontaneously talk about cross stitch. I love this shirt because it's just so soft. And if you want to know where I got it, got it from Amazon. I doubt you'll be able to find it just because you guys have heard this before. T-shirts on Amazon just are ridiculous in terms of uh, trying to find them. So they, they come and they go. Um, all right. So what else is going on? Um, well, let's talk about cross, cross stitch a little bit more. So um, goals for this week with cross stitch. Um, can I finish Randy Waterloo Place? I don't know. Um, the ones that I'm getting closer to finishing pages, I may focus on Ronnie Rowe and, um, Rainy Water Replace. We'll see. We'll see. Um, that very well probably will be the following week that I get those done just cause it's, it's an awful lot of stitching on just one piece. Um, but I say awful lot of stitching. I mean, it's really not. I mean, considering all the stitching that I do per week, it's really not, but, um, and just keep making progress on everything else. I mean, honestly, you know, now that I've found Reaper, I got to get back to work on it. So, um, I'll probably, uh, get some, get some stuff done on that tonight. Hockey playoffs start like now pretty much. Uh, so we got that to watch. The blues did not make it in. I was very happy about that. If you watch the, um, the stitch along, I actually wanted Colorado to make the playoffs and they did. So I was very, very happy about that. Um, the blues need to, to come back and be stronger next year. So it's all good. Uh, don't plan on going to a playoff game here in Colorado. Um, you know, I, uh, it, primarily because I think the games are like Monday night and Wednesday night or something. And I am not going downtown on a Monday or a Wednesday night. I'm too old, too old. Um, but let's see what else is going on. Bees are coming along. Oh, B channel. We started the B channel. Should I tell you guys about the B channel? Should I put a link up here for the B channel? Maybe if there's a link here, it's cause the B channel got up. So we uh, just uploaded a couple of some shorter videos on there. But if you guys want to follow along, feel free. Um, my, uh, my poor husband couldn't take a video last week cause it was so windy that he's just like, I wouldn't have been able to be heard. And um, we're hoping that perhaps we might uh, be able to um, figure out how to do some videos every week we go down there and check on the bees so theoretically we're gonna go down this week and check on the bees i say theoretically it's gonna happen i'm just not sure what day um but we need to do that ha ah, but we're getting close guys we're getting close the the new shipment of bees the couple of uh, packages of bees that we need are coming in two weeks and uh so we'll document that progress and put everything on that bee channel but i think i think it's time enough to um, to take a look at that, you know, put that on there. So that's no problem. Um, dogs are all fine. Dogs are all doing well. I cannot believe the dogs are all quiet. Actually, the dogs are not all well. Bailey, who you saw in the video last week, is a very bad dog. Um, she's our dog that literally can climb fences, no matter kind of how tall they are. We have a six foot tall fence that extends for our entire perimeter here. And it's six foot because of her. And we thought we had climb proofed it and apparently she's been kind of doing the Andy Dufresne thing from Shawshank Redemption not in the digging per se but in the pulling slightly of things so that she could make her way out and uh yeah she escaped the other day and ran off and got covered in mud and junk from the creek and it was just ugh. you know one of these times she's just gonna get in some well she's been in trouble before she's been picked up by the cops before put in jail I had to go bail her out I am not kidding I actually had to go bail her out um, but yeah, I couldn't believe she did that. Just absolutely ridiculous. Even, and, and that was like the day, the day after we took her and Zuzu to the dog park. So it's like, kid, this is how you repay us for taking you to the dog park. You'd be a bad dog. I don't know. She's so stubborn. She's so headstrong. It's crazy. Um, outside of that, everybody's doing really well. It's time to shave Doogie down. Um, Doogie, the border terrier. I shave him, uh, at least once a year. So, um, depending upon when I do that, I may throw, uh, I want, I want to video it and throw it on the end of one of these, at least a before and after, cause he's so shaggy right now. Um, but I'm not going to do it for this video. It's not going to happen. Um, I'm not going to have time tonight to do that. So, uh, let's see. Cat's good. Fish are still good. Um, we, uh, 
we are counting down our days to our, um, you know, it's getting closer and closer for our honeymoon slash cruise that's coming up. And I have now become addicted to watching cruise buffet videos. Uh, just like, what would be in the buffet of a cruise ship? And I'm just looking and just... My goal, and I know it's goals are meant to be broken or whatnot, your goals are meant to not be made or whatever it is, but uh, I really want to focus on protein and vegetables. Sure, sure, Julie, sure you're going to do that. But, uh, you know, if they have like a bunch of like seafood and steak or chicken or things like that, you know, I'm hoping that I will focus more on that. Eat slowly and um, not come back 20 pounds heavier because... Uh, that's, you know, it's, it's kind of ridiculous. And so like the amount of food and everything that's there. Oh, what, 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 what? Can you hear what, 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 what? Probably mad because she can hear me upstairs and she's not up here. So, um, but, uh, yeah. So, um, yeah, I've been watching a lot of the cruise videos. I was watching one, I was kind of hungry one night and I started watching videos and I'm just like, I'm just, just so excited. Just can't wait. Just so excited. Uh, did you guys know that you have to like buy Wi-Fi when you're on a cruise ship? I guess I, I guess I kind of knew that, but I just didn't realize it's like it's kind of expensive. But honestly, this is a hopefully not a once in a lifetime trip. Hopefully, we do this again. But this is a first in our lifetime trip. So, um, and being our honeymoon, we're uh, we're just gonna go ahead and, and do the do the Wi-Fi packages because my mom, my mom, uh, hi mom. My mom is so funny because she's just like, why would you want Wi-Fi? I mean, you, you know, you're, you're on vacation. Why would you want your phone and this and that? And I'm just, you know, I, news, YouTube, um, you know, I want those kinds of things and I'm not gonna, I don't think I'll post a video. That'd be funny if I posted a video from the cruise ship, but, um, I'm not even sure if that's, I mean, I'm sure it's possible if I have unlimited, uh, Wi-Fi, but uh, we'll see. We'll see. But, um, yeah, we're just super excited and honestly just salivating at the thought of Alaskan seafood. We just love seafood, so we'll see how that goes. Uh, I don't know. I mean, this is a shorter video than usual, and I'm not sure. I may have some things at the end that I could throw on there, a video or two of the dogs and whatnot. But, uh, yeah, I think that's probably going to be it for this week. I just don't have a whole lot going on um, outside of the stitching and the stitching needs to keep happening. I do have another class tonight that I got to start and we have playoffs. There's just too much going on. We just got to get that done. So man, I thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed, you know, consider for more goofy, crazy videos and maybe videos of my dogs and stuff. And yeah, we'll see. But, um, you know, uh, if you have any suggestions about anything that I could be doing, just let me know anything better. Let me know. Um, you know, I'm just stitching like a maniac and, uh, and, and loving it. I love, love cross stitch, like ridiculously. It's, it's crazy. And I'm still contemplating which one I'm going to take on my cruise. I mean, I could take, I could take Reaper. Um, I could take, um, I probably won't take Reaper cause I don't know. It just seems kind of too scary to work on a cruise kind of thing. Um, I mean, I, I was thinking even about taking um, Stormtrooper just to force myself to make some good progress on it. I could take um, I could take Ronnie Rowe and something else. Um, I don't know. I don't know how much cross stitch I'm going to get done. I mean, you think you know you'd be sitting around and you know between meals, right? Um, you know, figuring out what to do. But you know, I don't really know. I mean, this is going to be. I might not do hardly any cross stitching. I mean, it's quite possible. Uh, but. You know, I mean, my goal is just to relax, you know, sleep, eat, repeat, hot tub, repeat, seafood, repeat. So anyway, thank you for watching. I will see you this weekend with a stitch along. We'll see which one uh, or stitch with me. We'll see which project I'm uh, on at that point. Um, it stays safe and warm and enjoy the, the fruits of the emerging spring and uh, I will talk to you guys real, real soon take care feel free to ask me any questions uh, in the down below I 
caught up a couple days ago. I've been almost caught up this whole week, so I think I'm pretty good there. So, But thank you guys so much. I'll talk to you soon, and I'm just rambling. So take care. Bye-bye. He actually got on top of the, actually got on the wheel. Blueberry in there. Yeah. Oh, he found that. <laughs> oh, there he goes. Now he's just, he's being rambunctious. I had to get some food. He's like, oh, I'm hungry. I need to eat. Nope, that's not the way out, buddy. He's like, I'm gonna rip this thing apart. Suzu, Suzu, come on.